professional liars, you know what I'm saying? It's wow. wow. Listen. Bin Laden didn't blow up the projects. It was your nigga. Tell the truth, nigga. Put stock down the tower. Tell the truth, nigga. Put stock down the tower. Tell the truth, nigga. Bin Laden didn't blow up the projects. It was your nigga. Tell the truth, nigga. Put stock down the tower. Tell the truth, nigga. What's going on, guys? It's Realms. And I got some alarming news for all those that have been asking me about uh, government collapse or financial crisis. Um, I got some stories here for you that you might be interested in. Up first, it says here, 48-hour delivery order to 100,000 doctor scrubs, 1,000 shelters, 100 persons for 100 persons, fuel, showers, bathrooms, and hygiene equipment apparent mobilization of the national disaster medical system folks so that means that FEMA is preparing for some kind of disaster or some kind of outbreak maybe it could be a viral outbreak who knows or just you know any kind of disaster folks alright and that comes on the heels of this video here by strong tower 0914 where they said they received the email showing that military was caught with military law signs by customs coming from Mexico and truck coming from Mexico the driver was not military but it was a military truck and they say they had him open a truck and it said that they found thousands of signs or hundreds of signs saying this area is now under martial law folks alright now even some more alarming news is that the largest bank in the world announces crash folks this is the bank over in Germany and it says the bank for international settlements the most powerful bank in the entire world has just announced the crash according to story below translated from German and is this why the US Federal Reserve has just decided on QE infinity we appear to have reached a new era in the collapse of the US economy and our country they aren't even going to try to hide nor stop this anymore. The crash has been announced by BIS, folks. And here's that article. It says, U.S. Feds decide further massive money printing. You know they're printing money like it's going out of style, folks. And they got the noose right around their neck. All right. We all know that they've been printing money more than they, they, they can afford. And it's our gold has disappeared somehow. You know, you see all the gold, uh, we buy gold pawn stores everywhere, you know. Who is this gold for? Are they for the Anunnaki or are they for, you know, some other technologies that they're building? Now, in this article here by Before It's News has, a, you know, a screenshot of the article I just showed you. And it has a great video down here by um, Storm Clouds Gathering. It says the terrifying future of the United States, folks. And this is all mainstream. And if you go, to, you know, you can click on YouTube and go check out the links as well. But uh, I just showed on this article because it had all these things combined. Now, talking about financial problems, heartbreak for some in Colorado with no flood policy, folks. Now, these people are being driven out of their homes if they don't have the money to pay for it folks is where they're gonna stay in a disaster zone you know and as you see here it's just, it's just total devastation folks so if you guys want to read into this I'll leave the link as well also from Colorado we have 5,250 gallons of oil from fracking spill into this river here in the South Plate River, south of Millican, where at least 5,250 gallons of crude oil has spilled from two tank batteries into the flood swollen rivers, folks. So it's not getting any better there. Also, we have 1,130 tons of contaminated Fukushima water dumped in the sea after the typhoon that just hit there, folks. 
It seems the Japanese think that the ocean is just a dump free zone. It's just getting out of control, folks. Talk about terraforming the planet for Godzilla to break through. <laughs> Up next, taking a look at Colorado once again, but this time, the underground bases and tunnels and cities that they have under the earth, folks, that they've been building since 1950s, alright, or even maybe earlier. Now, could this be the reason why so many things have been going on in Colorado this year? We had those major forest fires, wildfires over in black forests and other places now we got the major flooding that encompasses the area the size of Connecticut or even more and now we got the oil and we have the people that were told thousands of people told they don't need flood insurance you know so now they're either gonna be forced to rebuild out of their own money or move out of Colorado folks or to another part you know and all these areas New Mexico Nebraska is now going to get affected. New Mexico's getting flash flooding. You know, it's just going to keep getting worse, folks. So before or after the world ends, if you guys want to raid any of these spots, you go location on the map. Up next... The 10 most disturbing things you should know about the FBI since 9-11. Alright. Now, I'm going to read the headlines of these because I don't got time to read all of them. It says here, first up, USA Patriot Act Abuse. Hmm. Obviously there. Up next, 2008 amendments to Attorney General's Guidelines. It says here, FBI agents unfettered authority to... Investigate people without any factual basis for suspicion or wrongdoing. Also, number three, racial and ethnic mapping. We see that all the time. Number four, unrestrained data collection and data mining. NSA, anyone? Also, suppression, internal dissent, the FBI war on whistleblowers. Yep, that's been seen. People have been killed. Also, targeted journalist. Well, got to keep one eye open, folks. Thwarting congressional oversight is number seven. And it seems our Congress have no power these days, folks. Number eight, targeting First Amendment activity. Well, freedom of speech is no longer protected by anything these days. And uh, it says, FBI has used its expand authorities to target individuals or organizations because of their participation in First Amendment protected activities. Also, freedom of religion, freedom of all that is all gone. It's either one world religion or you're going to get your head chopped off sooner or later. Proxy detentions. Several, several troubling cases indicate that during the Bush administration, FBI requested, facilitated, or exploited the arrest and detention of US citizens by foreign governments often without charges so they could interrogate sometimes torture them and finally at number 10 use of no-fly lists to pressure Americans abroad to become informants and the number of US persons on a no-fly list have more than doubled since 2009 the people mistakenly on the list are denied their due process rights to meaningfully challenge their inclusion in many cases, Americans only find out that they are on the list while they are traveling abroad, which is all about forcing them to interact with the U.S. government from a position of extreme vulnerability and often without easy access to counsel. Many of those prevented from flying home have been subjected to FBI interviews while they sought assistance from the U.S. embassies to return. In those interviews, FBI agents sometimes offer to take people off the no-fly list if they agree to become an FBI informant, folks. So they're blackmailing people into doing what they want. Number 11 on the list should be creating terrorists, domestic terrorists and informants. As we saw in the Boston bombing scandal, folks.
Up next, Washington Navy Yard shooting the portrayal of Illuminati Freemason symbolism. Now this is by the Grox One, and he points out a good point in his video along with a few other things. But the main point he did was that the guy that was a suspect suspected shooter in a Navy Yard massacre, his name was Aaron Alexis, right? And he points out how Aaron was the same name of the guy that had the Jews build this um, cow of gold to worship as an idol when Moses freed him and went up to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments. All right. So even Aaron, his name was a biblical, you know, connection to what the Illuminati and all those, those fools planned over there at the Navy Yard. And he also points out a few other great things and he, he shows how there's a whole bunch of connections to uh, ancient ruins and the way the world is mapped out from above and how this thing here right here is controlling everybody the, the guy with the clown face it alright so make sure you check into this video he also has a part two on how the elf was inscribed into his gun so if you guys want to check that out as well I'll leave a link Also, striking nations, anarchists, riot police clash outside Athens. You know, this um, riot or this protest that started over there was supposedly because they murdered some some kind of icon over there. Some neo-Nazis killed them. And, um, you know, what's funny is that there was a major swarm of earthquakes like a day before they killed the, uh, that person. And then uh, all of a sudden this riots broke out you know could it be connected possibly folks so make sure you come check this out if you want up next if you haven't heard this story first broke by Dabu on YouTube and it says here Navy Yard SWAT team told to stand down as mass shooting occurred and it seemed they had a, a team of expert marksmen that would have took out this guy easily but they were probably told to stand down by Obama just the way he did in Benghazi folks alright so if you guys want to read into this it seems some officers came forward and told the media that this stand down order was given and they had chance to maybe save some lives but they didn't and I'll have Dabu's link um, down below as well if you guys want the full breakdown now we didn't have any merger earthquakes today but we did have earthquake near uh, Fukushima and it seems that nothing was damaged in that incident as well and we have no boys in event mode at the moment folks also heavy torrential rains killed two in southern Ukraine more crazy flooding going on folks and rain apocalypse slams Mexico rare twin storms leave 34 dead. Other reports say there's been up to 80 people dead, folks, in Mexico. So, heads up on that as well. Also, we had a gamma ray burst out of the Virgo constellation just recently. Also, we got solar wind a little high at 514 kilometers per second as we go on through a solar wind stream, folks. And if you didn't catch the harvest moon, make sure you go and check it out. It's going to be out all week. And that's one of the reasons I put a watch date for September 18th, but nothing too significant happened. Only maybe the riots in Greece. Also, we got a monster sunspot on our eastern southern limb, but it doesn't seem to have too much magnetic complexity, so we'll watch out for that. We also got 25 fireball reports between the 19th and the 18th. And I'll leave you with this link, RFID chip Mark of the Beast commercial, folks. Now they're you know advertising it in commercials so make sure you come over here Debbie Grace and subscribe and check this video